We are standing at a place called Hanhelsweiler. We have the Limfjord right in front of us and behind us a few kilometers away we have the North Sea. If we go back 5,000 years, 6,000 years back to the Stone Age, this landscape would have been completely different from what it is today. Uh, because in those days it was possible to sail all the way from the Limfjord and into the North Sea. This was a sound that you could uh, use passing from one water to the other. And this was where the Vikings actually set out about a thousand years ago to conquer parts of Britain and Normandy. Then, immediately after the Viking Age, the sound closed. It was no longer possible to sail through and this whole area became a very unproductive area uh, where you could actually not produce anything. In the uh, 1800s, a uh, number of influential landowners in Denmark decided that they wanted to expand the agricultural area uh, of Denmark. And one of the projects was the draining of this whole area between the Limfjord and the North Sea. Uh, it was just after the uh, Prussian War, 1864, uh, Denmark lost, and we had to surrender about one third of the Danish soil to the Germans. So it was a national top priority to um, get as much Danish territory as possible. And that was one of the reasons why they started the draining here. As a matter of fact, it was a British railway engineer. His name was John Trewella. Uh, he got the concession for the project and he worked for a number of years with about 400 men. And finally, in 1873 the embankment was finished they had started pumping up pumping out salt water uh, into uh, the Limfjord but alas on January 4th 1874 at four o'clock in the morning a strong northwest gale broke the embankment and the whole construction was washed away within about one day so this was the end of the project. This was the end of the idea of making draining here. This was the end of the idea of creating agricultural land. And instead, it became a bird sanctuary. Today, Weilane is a paradise for birds and for bird lovers. Uh, it is one of the most important places in all of Northern Europe for breeding water birds and also for the migratory birds traveling all the way from Africa and up to the northern part of Scandinavia and back again every year. Nowhere in Denmark you find a bird life as you do here. In total, we have registered 300 different species of bird here and about 150 species of bird breed here. Actually, the migratory birds behave just like we human beings. When we travel, we like to find a pull-in on the highway where we can rest a little bit and where we can have some food at a cafeteria. And that's precisely what the migratory birds do when they travel all the way from Africa to northern Scandinavia. They like to find a place where they can stay, rest, and where they can have something to eat. And perhaps you could say that this particular place Hanhelsweiler is the best cafeteria between Africa and northern Scandinavia for the birds. This whole area covers about 14,000 acres. Uh, it's owned by a private foundation called OV Jensen's Fonde, and you're most welcome to come and have a look for yourself. Uh, of course, you're not allowed in the sanctuary uh, as such, but there are paths and there are several bird towers and shelters where you can explore the bird life of Hanhelsweiler on your own. Enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm.